Number seven ministries. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to Number 7 Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermon that is called A Lot from a Little. Mark chapter 12, verse 41, Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts. Verse 42, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins with only the fraction of a penny. I want to emphasize on a few things. One of them I want to mention is that Jesus went out of his way and strategically troubled himself to sit across from where the offerings were giving, given in the house of God. And I also want to mention that we, in our humanity, we in our logic, we would assume that the rich people who were giving abundance of money, that was glorifying God because it was such large amounts of money being given and it was such a glorious thing and that really God was glorified. But look at this Bible verse. It says Jesus was not impressed at all. He didn't even, he ignored them. He saw what they did, the rich people giving large amounts, but he ignored them. Why? I believe because they were giving out of competition. They were giving to be seen and they were giving out of pride and God was not impressed. I've been to churches where people will take hundred dollars of bills and hold it in their hand and wave it while they march down the aisle to give their money. So they're waving it in the air and they'll be and I'm going to tell you that God's not impressed with that because it's being done out of such pride and ego that God doesn't even care. But the woman, the poor woman who gave a fraction of a penny, God was so blown away by her heart, her humility, and her intention. She had no shame at all. And she was not afraid to go up to the same offering plate right after the rich people gave abundance of mouth and put her whole little fraction of a penny in. She was not ashamed because she was doing it with the right intentions, with the right amount of humility, and with the right heart. And that is what moved God. See, God is not impressed with the amount of money you're giving. But my question to you is how many of us, if we were that widow woman who was poor, see, you can be poor and full of pride. How many of us, if we were the poor widow woman and we only had a fraction of a penny, how many of us would have enough humility to put in our little drop of money after the rich people gave in their large amounts? How many of us still would have had enough humility? See, because the rich people, they were given out of competition and out of pride. The poor widow woman wasn't. She just wanted to obey God. She just wanted to give what she, little she had. See, how many of us would have made excuses not to give anything because of our pride or because we want we don't want to be ashamed. We don't want other people to think bad about us or think that we're not as important or valuable. I want to tell you this, that your value in God's eyes does not lay in the amount of money that you have or don't have. Maybe your value in the eyes of man, maybe you could only impress man by the amount of money that you give, but not so with God. In America, how many of us will see a penny on the ground and we will be too ashamed to pick up that penny if other people are watching because we're concerned what other people will think about us. God showed me that when I first became a Christian that that was true of me, that I would pick up a penny if no one else was around, but if other people were present watching me, I wouldn't pick it up because of my pride. But God showed me 
that I had pride in that area. So ever since then, I purposely troubled myself to pick up a penny, even if other people were around and they would look at me like a miser or greedy or whatever. I didn't care anymore because I was doing it because I saw value in all things, just like God sees a value in all things. I want to read this common Christian song. It's called Little Boy Drummer, or Little Drummer Boy. I'm just going to read the parts where the words are at. It says, Come, they told me a newborn king to see. Our finest gifts we bring to lay before the king. So to honor him, little baby, I am a poor boy too. I have no gift to bring that's fit to give the king. Shall I play for you? Mary nodded. The ox and lamb kept time. I played my drum for him. I played my best for him. Then he smiled at me, me and my drum. I'm going to tell you that God is not going to accept your excuses for what you don't have. Give what you do have to God. Don't make excuses for why you can't. Give your best and do it with humility. You know, I, I want to make mention of there's a few people that, um, and I emphasize a few people, actually about three people who made um, a willingness to volunteer to donate a little bit of money to this ministry because we need uh, 50 chairs for the new building that we're going to be moving into. And one of the uh, people that said that they were going to give, they're from, I believe, Singapore and from the Philippines, and they said that they were going to give half of their tithes to this ministry and they told me that it was only five dollars and I said and they felt ashamed about it I said you know what I said you don't feel ashamed I said because God can take a little and cause a lot to happen God's not going to be glorified in the large amounts of money he's going to be glorified in the humility in the heart and I said you go ahead and give your five dollars not that I'm greedy and stingy and I want everyone's money if you follow me around and see how I live you're going to see <laughs> you might feel bad for me anyhow I'm thankful for what I do have. But I said even the $5, it will go towards a quarter of one share. And there was a lady from uh, Trinidad who, who said she was going to give $25 at the end of the month. And I believe she was embarrassed and ashamed too out of the uh, $25. I said, don't be ashamed. I said, we could, you could, we could get two chairs from the $25. And this message is not to put people on a guilt trip or to trick you to send money. I want to make a point is that sometimes we will not give anything because of our pride, because of our lack of humility. And God is not concerned about the large amount. He's concerned about our heart. And the same thing that I say in the video is the exact same thing that applies to me. I'm, this ministry may not be a huge, uh, large member congregation or anything that the world would consider glorious, but I don't care what the world says. I want to know what does God say? God, are you pleased with me? God, are you pleased in what I'm doing? And yesterday, I know that God's with me. And you need to know that God's with you for your own self. Yesterday, I was driving uh, back home from the movies out in Cleveland, Ohio, actually Euclid, Ohio, which is about a half an hour from where I live. And I was getting onto the freeway ramp. And as I got on the freeway ramp, I saw about three accidents with three cop cars attending to each accident because our, our roads were very icy and it was snowy and it was bad. All right, cars were spinning out in front of me. I actually saw two accidents right in front of me. And this is what happened. As I got onto the a freeway ramp, my car actually started to slide sideways. I was only going about six miles per hour, but the weight of my car was actually sliding sideways because of the slope that this freeway ramp was on. And I was actually on the freeway and my car actually did a donut, which means it span, span around all the way, completely span around, so that I'm actually facing the wrong way on the freeway, and there's about five cars coming towards me. And then I repositioned my car to get back on the right way, and then I did another donut, and I almost hit the, uh, the, the guardrail, the metal guardrail, I almost slammed into it. 
And then as I backed up and repositioned myself, I, I did another donut again. Meanwhile, I'm surrounded by cars. And God told me to get off of the freeway immediately. I got off the freeway ramp, and it took me about three to four hours to get home. I took the side streets all the way home because it was more of a level uh, road. But the thing is this, is that, first of all, I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I was scared. And I said, I said, God, in my heart and in my mind, I said, God, please help me. Please help me. And he heard my cry, and he protected me, kept me from getting killed, kept me from the car being destroyed, kept me from hitting another car and from other cars hitting me. And I just thank God for even things the world might say, oh, you're just lucky. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in bad luck, good luck. I believe in God's divine intervention on his children of God. I pray that this message blesses you and takes root and produces fruit in the spirit. God bless you and have a wonderful day.